I see you, you did something about a book. Yes, I just completed this book. It's called The Big Book of Asperger Syndrome. Um, there are 84 puzzle pieces. Let's get a little closer. Now, in every... There you go, if you can see that. Now, in every... Oh, okay, talk about the pieces. These are some common traits of people with Asperger's Syndrome. Everybody has 10 to 20. And um, making the diagnosis is uh, kind of a puzzle in itself. The, the conditions are kind of a puzzle. So, uh -huh. um, oh, like some of them here get, get lost easily, like wearing old clothes. I, I saw someone pattern. Patterns. Uh, uh, no, there it is. Uh, patterns and carpets. No, there's patterns and carpets. <laughs> yes, I've done some drawings of that. Um, so, so do you like patterns, and that's the reason? Uh, I mean, you like that kind of stuff? Or yeah, you, I, yeah. I like patterns. I like organizing, and I like um, uh, random seeing seeing random things in. in carpet designs. Would you like to show this book off to other people? Yeah. Oh good. Would you like, it's interactive, would you like to see? Yeah, that? I want to interact I want to see what... <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, explain to me. Enter the world of Aspie Land. Through my eyes, this interactive book will let you experience a bit of what it's like to have Asperger Syndrome, a condition on the autistic spectrum. Gregor, Gregor, the house louse, will help you find four hidden words to a clue which will make your journey easier. And you made all this, right? I mean, the door... Uh, but that door was from a magazine. Well, yeah, yeah, you got like clips. a collage. I just yeah, the collages, yeah. Put uh, it together. Yeah. yeah. And what's, a, what's this, three, is this 3D uh, glasses? Yeah, these are 3D glasses to help you see and actually if you look through them they're dark i see oh you oh, can't what? see now what's with the dark um uh, well it, it has a lot of meanings um asperger's syndrome is known as a hidden condition because uh, if you just look at the person they don't look any differently um there's that and then also um, it's difficult for a person uh, with autism to pick up on um, um, subtle body language and what people are thinking. Um, the, uh, they tend to take things literally, literally and um, there's a lot of misunderstanding that happens in communication. I see. Okay. Okay, what's the next page? First, some readjustments to your sensory system. While tensing your shoulders, shut one eye, rub the sandpaper with your left hand, draw circles in the air with your right hand, stare at the painting, click your heels, smile and repeat, there's no place like home, there's no place like home. <laughs> now what does that mean? Um, to me, that means it's very difficult for me to um, use more than one sense at a time. So, for instance, in a classroom, um, you've got all this stuff going on. Um, uh, the lights are bright and it's very noisy and it's very difficult to concentrate uh, on, one, on the whole thing. Or I on see. one thing, even, because there's so much interference. Okay. Well, okay, what's this next page? Okay, here's another. While counting backwards from 50, connect the dots in alphabetical order. So here we go. A. Oh, and here's your special pencil to help you. Uh -oh. oh, too bad. It's broken. <laughs> okay, what does that mean? <laughs> well, um... You think that you have all that you need, and people, you, you think that you're getting enough help, but it usually isn't enough. Ah. Um, and then here's A, but there's no B. 
So I'll, nothing really connects, right? Really. Yeah, nothing really connects. I see. Uh, not, I mean, not everything, but sometimes. <laughs> okay. And the uh, lift one, it's, there's our first clue. Okay. What does this say? You have five seconds. Ooh, good question. I have no idea. All right. Answer, Autisha Psychopathy. During wartime Vienna, Dr. Hans Osberger became fascinated with a group of child patients who were highly capable in one aspect of human activity. He referred to this condition as Autisha Psychopathy. His 1944 article was not translated into English until 1991. So there are a lot of adults walking around because it didn't get into the um, DMS, uh, which is a diagnostic diagnostic manual for um, physicians until 1994. Uh -huh. So uh, it's unrecognized. It was unrecognized. Okay. So what's the next page? Subtract the number of birds from the number of fish. Well, um, I do very well on details, and I kind of miss the overall picture, so if this were a test, I would wonder if these little fish here should be counted also. I see. Or maybe this one, too. Okay. Uh, oh, you got a little lifter. It's not. Okay. Okay, without peeking, what is it? Fire. I don't know. Good guess. <laughs> oh, it's a feather. It's an owl's feather, but the correct answer is a forest. Okay. Pull the correct string. You may take as much time as needed. So a lot of times, a person with Asperger's syndrome doesn't quite know what to do. Um, I like to... I like to do the same things over and over, and, and so solutions don't sometimes occur to me. Um, also, so that's, I that's, really like strings. Okay. <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> Two is the correct key. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. This should be easy. Oh, to the door. Unlock the correct door. And these are all interactive too, right? Uh huh. Nope. So you change. Oh, yeah. Nope. Nope. This is one thing good about Asperger's. Well, there are a lot of good things. Um, I'm very perseverant. I'll keep trying. I'll, I'll just keep trying opening the doors until I. Until I can find something and asking for help and asking people. Yes, you are given permission to be yourself and not follow rules so literally. Furthermore, you are given an extra dose of encouragement, which I find very helpful. Self rating, choose one. A, I was not trying hard enough. I usually try very hard, but sometimes it's not enough. B, I found it difficult but showed great perseverance. C, I must be crazy. D, all of the above. Uh, and then number three, it's not your. Let me get that. Congratulations, you finished the book and are now an honorary Aspie, if not already a bona fide one. Cool. So, okay. Um, fault. It's not your fault. You're born this way. <laughs>